Hi, I'm Rivas, and today I am sharing with you all uh, one of the new deck lists I put together for uh, the Lady Deathstrike buff. So she recently got changed to be a 5-7 with an ability that she destroys all cards with in a lane with three or less power. Uh, this was one of the buffs in the patch that I feel like is actually meaningful. She has a place, I think, as a tech card in Destroy, but more importantly, I think she offers a really good uh, combination with Sentry. Um, and this is because if you run her and Annihilus, um, your opponent is wants to fill the Sentry Void lane right on the right side um, so that you can't send it over for Annihilus. But if you're running Death Strike, they also have to fill it in a way where they don't just get hosed by Death Strike, right? because uh, she could eat the void and all their cards there and all their efforts basically go to waste and you still get a solid body at the end which is the key part um on top of that she's pretty well positioned right now as just a good tech card into a silver surfer into any greedy decks that run like iron man uh she basically and so when you see those matchups and yeah it feels really good and this deck overall i really liked um i had something similar set up but then i saw actually uh jeff hoogland play pixie and Mobius in a similar deck, uh, so I decided to throw those in. Um, so we have the Pixie Mobius package, which provides us some high roll potential. Obviously, we have the Sentry Annie Death Strike, which honestly I think can go into a variety of different decks uh, right now alongside Hood. Um, I think like yeah, I used to run Valkyrie in some similar decks to this, um, where Valkyrie could serve to offset the as another way to offset the Sentry. Um, but yeah, that Death Strike was way better. Um, I have a mini Mockingbird package in here as well. Mockingbird has synergy with Hood. Uh, she also has really good synergy with Mysterio. Um, and I even added Maria Hill to add some extra synergy. And she, yeah, it's just like a very uh, solid, like she'll be like two to one cost uh, Mockingbird. Um, additionally, Nico synergizes with Hood, Mysterio, and Pixie as ways to either destroy them or turn them into demons, which feels really, really solid. And we have Ham for some disruption. Maria as another Mockingbird proc and a small thing to swap around with Pixie. And lastly, Red Hulk, which is a good swap with whatever it swaps with. Um, if you Pixie or just like wins you a lane, right? If you can Mockingbird a lane. Like, honestly, like going Sentry, Annihilus, Red Hulk just straight up wins games. Like, it's a very powerful card, one of the best things you can do on turn six. Uh, if you don't have Red Hulk, you can probably put in any good six drop card here. Um, Magneto was something that I was toying around with before. Very solid. Um, but yeah, overall, the deck felt really good. Lady Death Strike always felt good. I played it, I played Lady Death Strike all, all stream. That, that was all I was testing because this card was so fun. Um, but yeah, I like this deck the best out of the Lady Death Strikes I played because um, it has multiple lines, right? You have your Death Strike lines, but even if you don't do Death Strike, you're still doing some pretty solid stuff. Uh, and you have this Pixie High Roll um, that can just straight up win you games and give you like that surprise factor that maybe this deck can kind of lack, right? Because uh, there's very little surprise of like playing Big Hulk, playing Annihilus, that kind of stuff. But uh, if you can do them all in the same turn, that can provide really good surprise. Uh, I didn't even pull Pixie too much in these games and it still was pretty solid. So uh, it's definitely not relying on her either. You can probably try and run a different two drop uh, in there instead. But yeah, um, I think Lady Death Strike is something really worthwhile experimenting with Sentry in particular, like I said. Let me know what you guys have been cooking up yourselves. Uh, definitely will consider it. Uh, but definitely play more of this card uh, and She'll be in Spotlight soon, so if you don't have her yet, I think she's definitely worth picking uh, if she's alongside some good cards. I think she's alongside Red Guardian, so that should be pretty solid. But yeah, I'll let you take a look at the games for yourself. Uh, I hope you all enjoy, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. I can put Mobius into nowhere. And I have Pixie on curve. Two of my payoffs, but that's fine. Palace to drop, yep. I think his LDS doesn't kill the Brood in DC, I guess. Uh oh. This could be a problem. Alright, we're good. <laughs> we got him down before they drop like free Iron Man and stuff.
Okay, if I'm planning to LDS here, I'll put spider hand on there. Hmm. This might be too many cards to play. This is kind of like preying on an LDS top deck. Okay, Falcon is great. Helps me clear up the board a little bit. For music genre, uh, probably pop. But I, I like to mix things up always. I have to play this now if I want the value. Assume they're not expecting the stall gun. The location change. We're in here to make your mockingbird cheaper. I am Iron Man. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Well, that was not a good transform. It's the best I can do mid trap. I'm going to 20. Wolfsbane going off twice. If Iron Man it's not enough. I think we just win. So I'm missing something. They don't have Surfer. I'm sorry, 19. I am Iron Man. Yeah. I mean, they won the right lane. Lady has forsaken us? Yeah, the lady would have been so good in this matchup with Iron Man, Wong, and stuff, and we just didn't draw her. Still won, though. Just Falcon and Albies. Honestly. Forever to load? Weird. <laughs> They're hello. How did they know? Maybe they're trying to hide their deck from me. Uh, I don't know how this matchup will be. Probably not too good. I'm gonna stop all these demons. We can beat a reasonable hand from Hella. I mean, obviously they can high roll, but. I mean, they could have been trying to hide their deck from me. Man, dear. Victory. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can look at their whole deck now, right? They lost Black Cat, Blade, Red Hulk, Sandman, Hella, Death Strike. Ooh, I have to watch out for Death Strike from them. Okay, so they're like ramp, right? Hella? For running Sandman. 
Death Strike's probably there to kill their own Electra. Ramp might not be too bad compared to regular Helva. This doesn't swap the District X stuff, so I probably just kill it for the draw, right? Scar is a little bit scary, but I have two really good hits. They probably also have some good hits if they're staying. Nice. I don't think I want to wave their deck. I'd rather just play Murray Hill here. Or even Rhino. Play Crossbone somewhere next turn to Death Strike. I guess I might Death Strike here. Put this here then, right? Put this here. Oh, never mind. I want a Death Strike mid. <laughs> Could hold this. Crazy snap. Definitely stay. Is there gonna death strike here? I just play Death Strike this turn, right? I could wait. Yeah, Death Strike's Miles is very nice. That's nice of them. Uh, I'm expecting it's going to be Death Strike on runes. I think it's this. Yeah, I'll turn off Warpath, so then this would be the player. I'm trying to think about Hella here. Maybe this is better. I like my first play. It has to be Hella, right? It would be a hell of a year with this play, unless they put it mid. But if they put it mid, then it would be a 50-50, because if the thing goes right, I would win mid. So it was on the uh, loss to Hella if it went left. They had one more card from their deck, because they just didn't play it. I mean, had in mind my favorite cosmetics. Emotes? Yeah. Uh, do I value the demon? I kind of do value the demon here, weirdly enough. 
turns the left one into demon. Okay, we can take a look at the emote schedule after this game. Ooh. Can't get into mid outside of the sneaker. Cushion is what am I playing against? They now have Red Hulk. Are they a Shang-Chi deck? They're just blind snapping me. Definitely stayed to figure out what they're playing. Maybe they're destroy. Oh a surfer. Lots of surfer today. If I get LDS I can snap back. I guess if it's Patriot, I can't snap back. So I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> Disaster chop. Oh my god, they stayed. Or no, did they not stay? Stayed on a rogue? Last minute. <laughs> Pixie, yeah. Pixie's the new Sabu chat, I'm telling you. Animation was slick. Yeah, the hazmat animation is pretty cool. It honestly makes me want to play hazmat. <laughs> Just a little bit. Also, hazmat probably means Wong, so LDS is going to do work this game. Yeah, Mirage is decent. Hey, yeah, man. I was about to talk about how Lizard was a good pull here. Point the surfer. They're probably not Killmonger if it has map, but I don't see any benefit from playing out this demon outside of top decking exactly a century. Hey, yeah, man. That's fine. Alright, come on, one brute, please. Sarah. Mobius, please. Pixie. Folks was sad after the 31 point game. Honestly, considering that he's still 14 after being peaked, it's pretty good. But yeah, them getting a free limbo and a free peak here is pretty rough. I need to top deck the sentry. Double limbo. There's not sentry, Anonymous. This is not bad either. Unfortunately, I can't eat the cage because he reset his own power. I can still set myself up to threaten that lane though with the Death Strike or with the Hulk.
Old Lady Duff Strike. Well, they, Old Lady Duff Strike would never be 7 power. <laughs> 7 power Old Lady Duff Strike would be busted. Oh, they have Pryo, the... But I also Mobius them. They probably leave if I snap, right? I actually don't think they can win. Yeah, they just leave anyways. I should have snapped before. Kind of expected a little bit stronger of a play, considering they had Saradon. I say didn't have Wonk. I did pick their surfer. Maybe that was enough for reason to snap. I don't know. I feel like at this point, I'm favored enough. I feel like I'm kind of favored with this LDS that I don't want to uh, take unnecessary risk. I'll turn off a Tillon here. I want to keep my Lady Death Strike and Sentry. Oh, we'll talk about Tidal and welcome, welcome. Your stream is going well. What we're playing today? What do we think about the patch? Bye Wong. Honestly, it's not that good of a hit, because I wouldn't mind them spending energy on that. But it's fine. Patch on hot location day sucks, yeah. I mean it's because they delayed the patch, right? It wasn't intentional. By any stretch of the imagination. At least a brood here. But also can eat their broods. I do it now so I can play stuff next turn, right? Where do I wait? I should do it now, right? They should play the free, free card this turn. I think it's the only way I get Pry over. My current ladder ranking, uh, I think I'm just below three, uh, 400, so like 3 something, 380 or something. I did, did a couple days of ladder this season so far. I, I was going to do 50-50s on every that's not a hot location day is the plan. Crazy good? It's okay. Not bad for sure. Where does the demon go? I feel like I have an okay chance. Like, it's worth a cube, right? To stay here. I feel like they don't fight for mid. Could be wrong. They fight for everywhere. Okay. Mm, Mac kills me on the left, right? Oh, I guess it depends what these hit. Unlucky. Oh, has yeah, I didn't think about Hazmat. I should have thought about Hazmat a little bit more. Because I never beat Hazmat, especially with Mysterio. It's fine, one cube. What's the one emo I was talking about? Chat. There's definitely not one emote that I would insta buy and not tell you guys that I insta bought it. Imagine, imagine me getting an emote. Crazy. I 
don't know what you're talking about, Boosty. You could change the location this turn is kind of annoying. I should hold the ham in case this is something that transforms the ham or kills the ham. Just want the Miss Minutes emote. Someone linked a schedule earlier. I guess there's a schedule for it now. I guess I just hold this for later. Sentry mid, I guess. Getting rid of that is pretty good. It's a turn too late, my friend. Is it the... I feel like it's actually not too late. Doesn't mean I get rocks. But I'm, I'm gonna trust LDS to just one mid. Yeah, we'll, we'll check the shop after to see what showed up. Do I get the draw before the rocks? I do, right? Oh, nice. Very nice. I guess I might not have Pryo here, but they always play Sarah, right? Copium. Red Hulk's a little lane. It's just this 13 enough here. And it comes down to do they play Surfer this turn or not, right? What do we think, chat? Do, are they playing around the LDS? Yeah or nay? I say nay. They're snapping Sarah 100%. Or Wong, sure. She's so good! Sorry, I shot it. <laughs> She's so good, chat. I think they give up. Somebody tells me this is not enough points. Can't ally with me either. I mean, there wouldn't be an ally in this air deck, but. This deck is actually a lot of fun. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's optimal yet. Lemuria is kind of. eh. It's one five in a row with this. Your shop has three emotes. Pixie, am I? Yeah, we didn't even play Pixie, which is good. The deck wins without Pixie is important. 